Mom, we can't go in the house, it's dangerous. Last Wednesday at 4.40 a.m., I got robbed. This is that story. Well, what do I do? Like, do I call the cops? Yeah. What's your name, sir? My name is Matt Norloff. Okay, I'm gonna get a deputy to come by then. This is at 4 a.m., 4.40. That one's not going to go. Got a list of suspects. What? That's Are you serious? <sighs> What's up, Team Rar? Today's video is like not one that I wanted to make. This is not something that's very fun. And you guys know me, I love making fun videos. This is definitely not that. Um, so we got robbed. We had people break into the house, steal a bunch of stuff, felony larson, cops, detective. Lots of people are involved on this one. It's, it's really, um, really a serious situation that we're dealing with right now. Uh, we missed one of our uploads recently. Uh, it's been taking up a lot of time. It's been a huge headache. It's been scary. It's been dangerous. And I wanna bring you guys up to speed on everything that we're going through right now and the whole story of exactly what is going on. So this video is going to be this story of what we've been going through the past couple of days. What all started on a regular Wednesday, we woke up, we're getting the cameras ready, we're ready to go out and start like filming a fun video. I get a strange text where Matt's like, yo, where's my ATV? And he sounded pissed and Matt never gets mad. And so that is when we figured, hey, something might not be right. Let's put like the vlog cameras down and let's go like look at the security cameras. And that is when our stomachs tied into a knot and we were like, OMG. Oh my god! Oh my god! What's that? Yo, it literally just crashed in the backyard. Oh! Oh! Hey, Sarah, here's Michelle Bandor joins us live from the scene. So, Michelle, what happened? Well, Lisa, this is an active investigation with the Federal Aviation Administration and the FBI. I'm told that late last night, an unidentified individual broke into the local airport and stole a helicopter straight from the helipad. The latest news is the helicopter is now heading east to where famous YouTubers Carter Scherer and Mr. Beast reside. We will update you with the latest as more information becomes available. I thought today was gonna be just another normal day vlogging in the backyard with Bailey, but what happened next was truly unbelievable. And we got Mr. Bailey Payne. What's up? Back in town, baby. What's going on? Ooh, spooked. I know. I ain't pranking you today. <laughs> I mean, I thought we were going to do some kind of pool show, right? Well, we're doing a little death dives. So that's why I'm getting my shoes on so my feet don't slap. So, Bailey, you're telling me that you're going to hit the roof gap from all the way up there? I think if everyone hits that subscribe button, I'll do it right now. <laughs> I mean, just look at the height. And of course, we got Mr. Berg. Hey, Berg. In you the Jeep. You're always in the Jeep. <laughs> Yep. Well, you suited up. You're ready to go. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you jump? Yo, do you hear what was that? Hear what? Are the UFOs back? What do you mean? That's loud. Hey, what the? Up. Yo. What? There's a helicopter. Oh, hold on. Oh, yo, yo, whoa. Yo, Carter. It looks like it's gonna crash. Oh my god. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Oh, it's gonna hit the. Okay, so one problem with my Jeep is the windshield keeps cracking and uh right hand guys this is a helicopter going over or something. Whoa! The helicopter's really low. Yo, Carter, we gotta go. Where are you going? Yo, dude, this thing's gonna crash in the backyard! No, 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 all the way! You gotta catch it on camera! Where did it go? Hey, Curtis, don't go, don't go, don't dude, go. it's gone. Dude. Oh my gosh, he's like he's really low. Is that that helicopter that I saw on the news? I think they were talking about that helicopter on the news, something about it. Where'd it go? That's the craziest thing that's ever happened at your house. Yo, there it is. It's in the sun. Wait, I think he's good. Yo, what was that? That was literally the craziest Bro. thing I've ever seen. Is it is coming it still back? still here? Where is it? Yo, it's coming I don't back. See it. Yo, it's, there it is. Oh, dude, it might hit your house. I don't know what he's doing up there. Why? Dude, this doesn't out. look good. Oh my gosh! That's so I think it's like pop I think it's. I think he's coming in for a landing or crash. It might blow up. Hey, hey, you got this! You got this! You got this! Hours, I'm gonna be training to learn how to do a backflip on my dirt bike. Oh my gosh! Just like that. What are you you're about to do that? That's the goal. I got 24 hours. That is gonna be insane. Oh, that was crazy, man. I know 
it's your guys' turn. Who wants first? So should I just hop on and give it a go? I think we should start slow, build our way up, and then maybe we can get you upside down. Like you said, we got 24 hours to do this. All right, let's take it slow. The 24-hour timer starts right now. This is Banksy. He is a professional dirt bike rider and a member of the Nitro Circus. He could do huge jumps, crazy stuff, and definitely backflip his dirt bike. And that is what I'm gonna be attempting to do today is backflip a real dirt bike here at the Team Our House. I'm here at the motocross track where I'm gonna be starting my training, and I'm here with none other than Alex, a professional movie stuntman and a pit bike pro. We're gonna start you at level one. We're gonna start small, work your way up. This is literally the smallest jump we have here. <laughs> All right, show me how it's done. So this jump is so small and so easy, there's literally no way you can mess it up. Oh, that's the tiniest jump I've ever seen. That's gonna be easy. I'm gonna be backflipping today. Let's go, level one. I got this, level one, here we go. Come on, you got this, let's go. Easy. Go. Oh. Oh. Are you? Are you serious right now? Oh my oh. god. Come on, man. This is scary. That that freaked me out. I didn't think I was going to make the jump. It's only like half a foot, man, off the ground. But look how far I had to go. It's a whole bike lane. Well, you're trying to backflip today. Like right. 20 feet in the right, air. I'll be brave. I'll be brave. Yeah, it's be scary. brave. He literally just said five minutes ago it's going to be easy. It's level one. Okay, here we go. All right, you got this. You got this. Okay, you know what? That jump is easy. I'm ready for level two. Let's see what that is. Let's go. I'm backflipping today. We're running out of time. Now that my skills are increasing, I'm going to step it up and go from the smallest spike to now a medium sized jump. On to level two, Alex. What is level two? Standing right in front of it. This is level two right here. Okay, it does look a little bigger. It is a little bit bigger. You need to go faster. But if we're going to get you to do a backflip today, this is where you have to be. Show me how it's done. Let's see if we can do it. Level two, let's run it. This jump is a lot bigger. You have to go a lot faster. You can't just come around the corner and ease up to it. You have to be on the gas and give the bike everything she's got. So let's get it. I'll show you how. I'm curious to see just how much bigger this is than level one. Oh, that's what? level two stove. What do you think? You ready for it? Uh, I, th I think I want to see it one more time. I'll give you one more. Okay, here it comes. I'm studying. Oh! Oh, it looks bigger when you get closer. Well, you ready? Yeah, you know what? Uh, okay. You got it. Good luck. Okay. official guys i am now a ferrari owner last week i went out on a mission to purchase the cheapest ferrari in the entire country and we succeeded behind me is the cheapest ferrari that runs and drives this thing is a ferrari 308 and when i found it last week it was in kind of rough shape <laughs> This Ferrari sat in someone's barn for over 20 years. The tires were completely flat, the engine did not run, and we had to push it onto the trailer just to get it back home. Once we got it back to the shop, we added new spark plugs, new cables, some TLC, and a ton of starting fluid, and eventually, this happened. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, yes. oh, it's running. It's working. Driving it for the first time wasn't very pretty either. After just five minutes, it started to smoke and then the throttle cable broke. We were able to fix all those problems and put new tires and suspension all around and then we gave it a much needed cleaning. Now that I own a Ferrari, I'm a changed man. What is that? What car do you drive? Oh, really? Never heard of that Ferrari before. Yeah, I mean, Ferraris are sick. Oh, what? Your, your Ferrari is not signed by Enzo Ferrari himself? <laughs> then it's not, that's, is it even a Ferrari? <laughs> I bought this thing for $9,000 and I'm willing to bet it's worth something like 90 grand. But not a lot of you guys are happy. I mean, I'm looking through the comments of the first video and a lot of you guys, I think, are haters. I mean, if I bought the most expensive Ferrari and I was trying to flex and show all that, I could understand why people would be upset. But I saved this thing from the barn. It was just sitting there rotting away for more than 20 years. But hey, for nine grand to get this thing back on the road, I'm pretty proud of myself. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, guys, I think that house is literally catching on fire. This is not good. Steven, we gotta call 911. This is bad. Oh my gosh, I literally can't see anything. <laughs> it's 
Steven! Mom, we gotta call the fire department quick! <coughs> Oh. Or it's just my fog machine, and today we're gonna be pranking the entire sheriff fam at Steven's house. Let's go. Woo! I flew up to my brother Steven's house, and my entire family is here Mama Cher, Steven, Grace, my dad, and even baby Otter. So today I'm gonna be attempting to prank each and every single one of them. Hey. Oh, Hi. Here. Nothing. Gotta go. I thought I heard somebody. No, I'm just loading some stuff up into my room. Oh, okay. Can you help? No. Okay. Oh my gosh. Everyone is out and about. I gotta make a run for it. Steven's cleaning up. Okay. It's been a long time since I've done a prank and I honestly don't think I've ever done a video where I pranked my entire family. So today's video is going to literally be insane. So I'm taking this fog machine, I'm going to take it up to the attic, I'm going to let it run, I'm going to get people in the backyard and they're like, oh my gosh, I think the house is smoking. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did they take anything else? That's all that I see that's missing right now. Luckily, they left some of the more expensive stuff in there, but that thing wasn't cheap. Why wasn't that one door locked? I just haven't been really locking things. So. Wait, what? How did they, they just take your ATV? Well, what do I do? Like, do I call the cops? Yeah, call the cops. I mean, what else would have been could have been stolen? Maybe just took the ATV alone. Like, they probably didn't have trailer space to take Is there other stuff. Like out of the garage? Yeah, they were. Yeah. Is there Mm -hmm. What? Are you serious? Dude, what? You can kind of see them though. Yeah, you of. could. That's the only clip we got, really. Are right you there. serious? Dude, that was like a $6,000 ATV. Like, uh, I was gonna sell it to him too. What can I, like, I don't even know what to do. But that means they brought a truck. How did that and then their bottleneck is just how much they can fit on their truck. Like, is my dirt bike still here? Like, oh, what else is missing? Gone. Are you serious? 100%. Yeah, it's not there. But it was parked next to my Raptor. Yamaha's gone. After seeing that footage, that's when we started to realize the ATV is definitely missing. Where is Liz's dirt bike? And what else might be missing, broken, or completely messed with? That's when we decided to pick up the phone and call the cops. What's your name, sir? My name is Matt Norloff. Okay, I'm gonna get a deputy to come by there in a couple minutes so they can take a look at the uh, surveillance also, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Matt's on the phone with the police filing a police report. My first instinct is like, who stole from us? Maybe it's someone that lives like one of the neighbors. So Liz, Andrew, and I, we hopped in the car and we just kind of did a lap. We just wanted to like snoop around, just see what's going on, and just maybe we would find something. Hey, Chris. Good morning. Yeah, we got uh, robbed last night. This morning, 4 a.m., two dudes came in, got an ATV stolen this morning, and a little dirt bike. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'll try it out. You've never had anyone steal anything? Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Meanwhile, the cops finally showed up and Matt started talking with them and walking them through exactly what we thought happened, which was there's at least one ATV stolen and we don't know what else. Seriously? Dude, what the heck? Helicopters are not supposed to do that. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. Bro, he's gonna hit the trees. Dude, he's it's gonna, gonna hit. hit. No. Yo. Bro, we gotta go over there. I gotta see this now. Yo, this is so insane. What are the odds that just happened right now? Okay, is he good? Right he's still in the air? Yeah, yeah, he's There he walked. is, there he is. Oh, he's about to hit that tree. Oh! Oh. Wait, yeah, no, no, no. Yo, he's in the tree. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Yo, yo, it literally just crashed in the backyard. Bro, you're what the heck? Is that's not my problem. It's not my helicopter. What is that? Oh, you have so much land, dude. What do you expect? Dude, we literally just witnessed an aircraft 
crash. Wait, dude, should you like call the cops or something? Dude, I don't know. I don't even know what happened. Well, what? I mean, clearly we just saw what happened, dude. There's some, something flying over your house. Well, let's go see if everybody's okay. Whoa, there's it's, smoke? Dude, dude it's smoke and it blew up. It's dude, literally smoking. Dude, we literally just crashed. The helicopter just crashed in the back there. It's completely on fire, bro. It's smoking. No way. Dude, I'm out of breath so fast. Dude, these people are not good. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh that's bad. That's really bad. Oh, that's real bad. Oh, my gosh. Wait, is there someone? There's no one in there, is there? Did they fall out? Oh, shoot. Wait. There's cops. Hello? How do the cops respond that quickly? Dude, I maybe don't know. they were so flying low for a while and the cops were. Maybe it was a cop. Wait, what case. if someone stole that thing and now the cops are after missing your property? You're going to get in trouble, dude. Dude, I'm not going to get in Wait, trouble. You should get out of here. They're going to think that we were flying? Yes, obviously. How would they know that we were flying? I don't know, but we should get out of here. Dude, here, what? Right no, we can be honest to the cops and tell them what happened. What do you mean? Oh, dude, they're coming. How were they so quick? They were actually ridiculous. Alright, I hear sirens pretty far away, but I hear sirens. I want to go check out. I saw Carter and Bailey running out that way. Terrible. Look at that. The smoke is insane. Yo, go come back, come back. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. How could a helicopter crash? Yo. How could a helicopter Yeah, there's cops. You're telling me. Why are you open the back door? Yeah, there's cops. He's on the radio. There's cops. Zoom in, zoom in. He's on the radio. I see it, I see it. Who's the Look, Something went right because Bob had a helicopter crash and the pilots not be there and the cops respond like in seconds. I don't know. I don't that doesn't think make sense. I have to ride down, make the turn, and hit that huge jump, which I swear is like the biggest jump here. All right, come on, Carter. Let's go. You got this. Just send it. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Oh, boy. Come on, let's go. Woo! Woo! He needs I to go a lot of it faster. A lot of it. I did it! Woo! You did what? What are you yeah, really hyped about? How much air did I get? <laughs> what air? No, there's no air. What? What, what, you, what was, you mean? I think my front tire left. <laughs> to jump the whole thing, you're going to have to go a lot faster. I'll go a little faster. A lot faster. <laughs> a lot faster. <laughs> okay, here we go. A lot faster. This is it. A lot faster. Scary. Oh, not boy. looking good. Oh boy. Look how big this thing is. Give it some gas. Come on, let's go. Oh! oh. 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 Okay, how much? I got air that time for sure. Yeah. There was some air, but if you're gonna backflip, the clock is ticking. So this time, when you turn that corner, as soon as you can, give it everything it's got. Full throttle. Full throttle. Okay. Go as fast as you can. Uh, I should quit. No. Quit while I'm ahead. That was a pretty good jump. Uh, no, it wasn't. I probably look like Banksy's flying up there. <laughs> oh, it's not Banksy at all. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's really trying to get some speed he's on this He's trying. One. He's coming from a lot further back. Oh! Yeah! That was so good. That was actually terrifying. I thought I was going to crash the whole time, but I landed it. So level two was a success. Now we're moving on to level three. Woo! I absolutely mastered the medium jump. Now it is time to go for the biggest jump with the smallest bike. If I can successfully land this, we can move on to the big bike and the big jump. Don't tell me this is level three. This jump is bigger, faster, and definitely more dangerous than the last one. So whatever you do, do not slow down. Level three, let's see what we're up against. Woo. Did he say this jump was more dangerous than the others? Yo. What do you think? I mean, it all looks okay. I just don't know why the dirt's missing in the middle. <laughs> so this one is a lot more dangerous because the worst thing you can do is go too slow, land in the middle or land on the back, and you're not gonna be driving home, that's for sure. Faster is safer on this jump. Absolutely, go as fast that as That is can. so scary. <laughs> There's well, no choice. You know, I think I did enough training for the day. I think we're gonna wrap it. We're good. I don't need a backflip. No, 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 no. What? what? No, he we're can't back done. out. What do you mean? Done. You're not done, you got this. Same thing as you did before, similar size jump. You just gotta stay confident, stay on that gas, don't let off. Okay. 
Here we go. Let me read you some of the hate. This dude says, there's no way they actually believe it's a real Ferrari. I mean, how would I not believe it's a Ferrari? It says Ferrari all over it. It's red. It's a Ferrari. This guy says, I instantly recognize it to be a Fiero as soon as he pulled the car cover off. Well, it's not a Fiero because that, this is not what a Fiero looks like. Those were sports cars. They did come in red, but you know, it's just two different cars from the 80s. I don't think that's the case. And to further prove to you guys that this is in fact a real Ferrari, I have the documentation to prove it. I have two documents documents here this first one and it says the make and year right there and then here is the actual title for the car proof is in the pudding this thing is in fact a ferrari there's only one thing left to do let's settle this thing we're taking this thing to the exotic car dealership the experts in ferraris and lamborghinis let's have them look at it let's have them authenticate it and appraise it All right, let's go, let's hit it. What, you think I was gonna put miles on my Ferrari? No way, this thing's expensive. Okay, wait, 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 I'm not hiding back here, this is sketchy. I'm riding the truck. I'm a Ferrari owner, I get a shotgun. It's time to prove the haters wrong. This thing is real. And it's probably worth a lot of money. It would have been worth less if we drove it here because I don't want to put more miles on the dash. Also that hasn't been driven for 20 years and I don't know if it would make it here, so. Uh, let's go uh, talk to Sean. Oh, there's Sean. He's gonna see it for the first time. He's gonna say it's real. He's gonna put all you haters to rest. Let's go talk to the expert. What's up, Carter? Yo. You guys up, did Sean? it. Oh my we God. We got it. it. Looks amazing. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Doing good. We did it. We bought the cheapest Ferrari the in cheapest the country. Ferrari. So you guys wanted to get an idea of how much it's going to cost to get it running and going? Yeah, exactly. So I want you to do two things. I want you to give me an evaluation of this car. Okay. And then also I want you to authenticate it because a lot of comments are saying that it's not a real Ferrari. Okay. And I want to put that to rest, prove to them that it is a real Ferrari yeah. once and for all. And uh, also show them how much it's worth because I think they're just jealous that I found such an old Ferrari and got such a good no, price on it. Yeah. She might have heard me. We might be okay. She must have went up the other staircase. Okay, so we're back up to my room up, up on the fifth floor of Steven's house. If you guys want to see the whole tour of this place, you're gonna have to check out the video I already posted where I do a full comprehensive tour of this house. It's no joke, it's over 20,000 square feet. So here's the plan. That's the backyard. Is there another window? Oh, there's the dogs. Okay, perfect. So I think if I run this here, it's gonna billow out. That's the plan. Okay. That's good. I might need to raise it. I'm not sure. Steven's house is literally so big that there's no furniture in most of the rooms because it just would cost so much money to buy so much furniture for so many rooms. I think it's like 12 bedrooms, 15 bathrooms. It's literally insane. Check out the house tour video. You definitely close this door. Okay, we're gonna wait for this to heat up. There's a closet in here. Whoa, where the heck? This is a secret room. This is amazing. All right, let's heat it up. Let's give this thing a test and see what it can do. Oh, that was one tick of the button. Oh my God, it's gonna be perfect. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's gonna look like it's on fire. Okay, all systems go. We got James on the machine. He's gonna help me with the trigger and time it just perfectly. He's gonna wait for my cue. And my mom is outside, so we are gonna prank her first. We got hidden camera set up. Okay, so wait for it. I just kinda like put my hand up. All right, sweet, sounds good. All right, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. All systems go. Okay, locking the door. This was at 4 a.m., 4.40. Push your eyebrows is one thing I can notice, but this guy's got more features. You can see here, he's got dread, you know, dread, like a lot of hair in the back. Try and go back, see if you can see their hands, if they were wearing gloves. Oh, that one's not wearing gloves. Yeah, I don't think either of them had gloves. This police officer was incredible. He was so amazingly helpful, fast to respond, and he even brought a fingerprint dust kit, which is like something out of the movies, and he started dusting for fingerprints to see if we can peel like a thumbprint or something and then scan it into the system. I mean, it blew my mind what he was able to help us with. This is our best bet, is this got unlocked. I can't touch it, 
it, but you pull it that way. And if there's a thumbprint or fingerprint and his fingers are in the system, that would be a way to catch who did this. It should be definitely crazy. definitely is not their first time either. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they might be in the system. We wrapped up with the police and here is what we know at this point. Matt's ATV, a Yamaha Raptor, was stolen and worth about $8,000. Liz's dirt bike also got stolen and that was worth a few thousand dollars as well. We don't really know what else happened since we didn't have footage inside the garage, but we're gonna continue to search. Later that night, I get a text from Andrew, and he thinks that he might have found the guy who robbed us. We don't have a lot of information to go off, but this screenshot here of the guy who broke in shows that he is a skinny tall guy with like black dreads that come down about shoulder length. And this guy working at the restaurant seems to fit the description, but it's hard to say. Being recently robbed, we're pretty on edge, and we're willing to go talk to anybody and just try to learn any information. So we drove over to the restaurant to talk to the manager and just feel things out just to see what might be up. We're just gonna be trying to collect as much information, be detective. We're looking for evidence, yeah. And we're gonna see if uh, we can just find these ATVs and dirt bikes. We're operating our investigation off of one of two possibilities. The first possibility is that these guys are long gone, they're not from the town, they're not from the area, no leads, nothing, it's not possible. That's not what we're going on. We're thinking, statistically speaking, what happened last night was due to someone who lived in what we believe is probably a 15 minute radius of here. I think that most crimes like this happen a lot closer than you think, and sometimes it's even like a close neighbor. So we're gonna be exploring the town, just kind of driving around, scoping it out, just see what we can see. See if there's anything at all to learn. There might be nothing, but I think it's worth kind of cruising around town late at night and just see if anything looks interesting to us. I don't think the cops saw us. Let's just stay back. I don't want it to be like my problem because it landed in my yard. Well, bro, that's how exactly it's gonna be. It's your issue now. Oh, there's Carter and Bailey. There they are. Hey, I wonder what they're doing out here. Let's go ask them. Dude, they're checking it out. They're looking for the people that were flying. 100%. Wait, what do they have? Dude, there what is. is that? You think we should run? Dude, I don't know. They didn't see us though. We should definitely not be here. Dude, what if this is like some kind of... He's like hammering something. Oh, here comes Bird. You think he saw it too? I don't know. Let's see. Here, let's ask him. Yo! Yo! Oh, did you see that helicopter that went over? Yeah. I think I saw that thing on the news. On the on news? On the news? Yeah. Oh, dude, it's right there. The cops are already dude, here. It's on fire. What did the news say are about you it? Are serious? What did the news say? I don't know. Something about an unidentified aircraft maybe stolen? Right, well, stolen? Oh. There's the pilots or whoever were driving are not in there. So it looks like that me and Bailey just jumped, jumped out of it. I'm not trying serious? to go to jail. I think if the cops see us, they're going to think that we were flying and we stole it. How did the helicopter end up here and the pilot is gone? I don't know. We got here so fast and they're gone. The thing is like, on, it caught on fire. Yeah, it's so smoking. smoking. Oh, dude, Carter, 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 it's smoking again. Oh, dude, they're oh. doing a single flare. Wait, that's what that is? Yeah, what the heck? What does that mean? I don't know why you would do that. This is stolen and it was definitely being looked for. And these cops, are they even real cops? I mean, obviously. They're making they like a crime scene. Company? Look at that. They're making some kind of crime scene. Dude, they're trying to find this. I think they've been looking for this for a while. Just don't get seen, dude. Come back behind the bushes. They're I'm definitely. Curious. If they see us, they're definitely gonna question us. There's no. Yeah, so we should leave. But I want to yeah, see what live. happens. What do you mean you want to see what happens? Well, there's a helicopter that just landed in our backyard. Dude, yeah, look at this. Crash. But we gotta focus. Come on. What are we doing now? Okay, you go and talk to him. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Bailey, you clearly right. don't look like Pay a helicopter my... pilot. <laughs> He's got the, the dealers <laughs> on. <laughs> no, listen, if I get arrested, y'all bail me out. Deal? I'll go talk to him. I don't care. I'm Shit. not bailing you out. I don't have that kind of money. Right. No, 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 dude, chill, 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 chill. Don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't bring a stick, that's a dude, weapon. I, I, <laughs> Why are you bringing a stick? Dude, you got to take the corner, corner, corner. Stop. He has a weapon. What, what do you mean? He's got a gun. Is that a gun? Like that. It's a signal. It's like a uh, it's a, it's a satellite ring. antenna thing. All right, guys, here it goes. Come on! Oh, that's too scary. Look how big it is. Maybe you should you should have just walked away, just gone home. Tip number two. All right, Carter, here it is. Get to the corner. Get on that gas. Oh, oh come on! Oh, it's so this is scary. You're teasing us. You're teasing us. I might not be able to pass this. Well, if you don't pass this, you're not doing a backflip today. No, that's true. That's what's keeping me driving because I want to accomplish my goals. For you guys, for Team Roar, 
We got sometimes we just gotta do things that are rare and ridiculous. All right, here we go. Yeah, you gotta go as fast as you can. Level three. Oh my god, that was I did great. It. You did awesome. That didn't splat, that's the best part. <laughs> so you did great here. Yeah. I think it's time for me to hand you off to Banksy. You're gonna move up to a bigger bike and a bigger jump. Oh, uh, let's go! Now we are stepping it up to a bigger bike with a full-size massive ramp. We are currently getting the bag over. That is the best landing to be training on, so I'm gonna be starting there. Once I can master oh. the jump into the bag, we're gonna then put this out into the lake and then I get one try. Everything I got, everything I learned comes down to this final moment where I'm gonna try to backwards into the lake on a dirt bike. I am not gonna lie, I am definitely scared for today, but luckily I am with a professional, Banksy. He is gonna teach me how to do all of the steps and use all of his experience to make sure I can do this safely and successfully. No more shorts and a t-shirt, I'm strapping up. I need some safety gear. I need to make sure that if I crash, I'm gonna be protected and I'll be able to get up and continue so I can accomplish my goal here today. The sun's going down, we are running out of time. Kind of get moving here pretty quick, master the big jump, and then start thinking about leaning back for a back lift. I definitely wanna make sure I am protected when I'm hitting that back lift. So I got knee pads, I got safety helmet. I'm definitely gonna make sure I am protected. The airbags are pretty safe. Very soft, we fall on them all the time. Just keep a nice body position. You've jumped before, so it'll be all right. But, uh... Yeah, I've, I've jumped before a little bit. All right, I think you're good to go. All right, need the helmet. Nah, I like the helmet. <laughs> ah, I guess I'm ready to try something and see if I hit the little dirt jump. Time for a speed check. Ah, what happened? I'm gonna get a speed check. There's a camera right there. making it look so easy. Yeah, so ramps, it's not really about how fast you go at them. It's more about how you come onto the ramp than yeah. the speed that you're carrying at it. You yeah. can hit it as slow as you want, and the harder you get off of it, the higher you go. Sounds good. Let's give it a try. Hey, you got it. Oh my God. That was pretty scary. I survived. Better than none, that was pretty good though. I would right. rate it, one to 10. 10? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. First attempt is a 10. Essay by the pro. Mm. Now we're about to push the airbag a little further so that way you get some more distance. Woo! Definitely a lot wider now. Let's see what Carter can do. We are here at Carolina Exotics. This is Sean, you guys know him from the first video. He is the man. He deals with high-end cars all the time, just like this real Ferrari, and he is going to evaluate it. He's gonna know that this thing is worth like almost probably, I'm thinking like 100 grand. Maybe, I saw a comment saying it might be 400 grand. It's got a signature for Ferrari Enzo himself. He's gonna authenticate it. We brought the title, we got the documentations. He saw the first video, he is on board. We're gonna have proof. Hey, how's it going? All right. Chris. Chris, I'm Carter. Nice to meet you, Gordon. Nice to meet you. All right. So the goal is to take a look at this old Ferrari 308 that we got. Okay. I want to get an idea of what it's worth and also authenticate you know, what it is. All right, the experts are looking at it. Sean and Chris are literally the guys to tell you how much an exotic car is worth. Yo, what if Sean evaluates it and says it's fake? Do okay, don't be what? a hater now, Stowe. Okay, look, they're not going to say it's fake. And if they were to say this isn't a real Ferrari and that it's like fake or something, I will tie this thing and winch it up into a no. tree and make a tree house out of it. No, no that's, I'm not, that's, I don't that's, have that's, to no, do that. No, I'm not going to do it because it's not fake. It's going to be real and it's going to be worth, I think, like $90,000. Carter, you ready for an update? All right, so Sean. I have some good news for you and bad news for you. All right. So this would be, this is a very, very limited Ferrari. Okay. They didn't make a lot of them. Maybe I would say less than 20, 25 of them. Very limited Ferrari. So if this was a regular 308, and it would be somewhere around 130, 140. 130, 130, 130 140,000. Yeah. Oh. But here's, here's the big part. 130. Wow. So here's the big part. So as I said, it's a very, very limited car. Very limited. Because it wasn't built actually by the Ferrari. Okay. And it's actually a 1984 Ferrari 308 built by Pontiac. It's by actually Pontiac. a Pontiac Fiero. It's not a Ferrari. It has a so, look at right here. I, I, think, I think he meant so, to say Enzo. Enzo. No, Enzo, Enzo, Enzo right? Enzo. Thanks, Steve. It's going to freak out the most. 
Whew, okay. We are back outside. Feels great. Drive through window still closed. What are you doing? I'm just vlogging. I'm gonna go hang out with baby otter. Okay, where did they even go? Oh, they're over here. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing all the way over there? You're getting tangled with all the dogs. She's got all three dogs, which we call the Rat Pack. It's Otter, Cooper, and Rory. They're all different types of Yorkies. They're so funny and so cute. Here they come. This one's Rory. This one is Cooper, if I could even show him. There he is. And this is the OG Baby Otter. We need to get paint on that barn. Paint on the barn? Yeah, kind of like your garage. Needs a little bit of paint to keep the wood good. Yeah. That's good. So what's going on today? Last day at Steven's house. Oh, yeah. What is that? Uh oh. Is that the attic, Mom? That's not good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on. Come on. You go, you go. I can't come in with the dogs. Go. Wait, we, oh, Mom, it's catching really fast. I don't think we can go in the house. I hear voices. Steven! Go! Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, that looks horrible. Mom, we can't go in the house, it's dangerous. Great, something's going on with the house. It looks like it's catching on fire. Hurry, hurry, go, 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 go. Here, you guys stay here. Grace, I don't, Mom, don't go in the house. This is not good. Dad's in there. No, we have to get everybody out of the house. Uh -oh. This is not good. Mom? 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 Up here. <laughs> did you did you think it was real? I'm sweating. But oh, look, Steven's concerned. He doesn't know. Let's go prank him next. He doesn't know. Well, guys, as you know, it is definitely hard to prank my mom because she is literally vlog mom. She's been around it all. Eagle eyes, eagle eyes. I know it's I'm in the back of my head. She saw James's head sticking up through the window. His hair is tall. His tall hair. Yeah. I was gonna get you the best, but we're gonna try it. Let's pull it right here. I want to see if Dreads is still here. Is that Dreads? I need to get a front profile on this face. I just feel like he's working in a part role right now, and I don't see a guy working in a part role doing some kind of theft like this. We staked out the restaurant like true detectives. We waited for it to close and the manager to come out so we could ask him a few questions just to see what's up. Yeah, we had two guys roll up on us last night. Stole an ATV and a dirt bike at 4 a.m. this morning. So just kind of yeah. screen grabs. We have two guys, this dude, and then there's this guy. I don't think it'd be him. I've known yeah. him for about a year, over a year now. Really, I appreciate your help. Based off what the manager says, I believe him. I don't think the guy working there had anything at all to do with the crime, but it was worth asking and exploring our options. But now we're back to the drawing board and just waiting to see what the detective has to say. The next morning, Liz and I are on the way to the airport because we have a wedding to go to, which is a little unfortunate because we're so on edge. And Matt's driving and he gets a call from the police department detective saying that he has potential suspects. We have suspects on the ground at the premises at a certain date and time. Um, I was at the house. Two friends who I live with were there. So what was he trying to say? He has a plan. Well, he has like a, he's got a list of suspects that were nearby and That's seemed to meet cool. the description no. based on phones and he saw. So that now is. he's gonna look at our footage and the exact time <laughs> that they were there and see if it lines up. And if it does, we might have some people to go That's knock on the door of. That's crazy. That's crazy. Unfortunately, Liz and I have to literally catch a flight. We're leaving the state, so it's going to be really hard to continue this detective work. But Matt and Andrew are going to be on the ground and continue working with the cops as they come back over to the team of our house today. They're signaling something. Garden, let's get closer. Let's go over here. Dude, the smoke is insane. Okay, go back. Go back. <laughs> oh, that's... The helicopter's still there. Yeah, there's a piece of the helicopter on the ground right there. Do you see that? Where? This black thing on the ground. Oh, dude, it broke so bad. <laughs> I don't know what they're scanning. It's making a lot of weird noises out there. He's radioing somebody. Dude, they're scanning it. I like can't even hear them talking, so I don't even know what they're saying. So weird. Carter, you go talk to them. I'm it's your house. I'm gonna get arrested. Be a man. I'm gonna what do you mean? I'm gonna get arrested. I'll bail again. you out. No, you're not. I don't want to get money. Yes, I will. I want to sleep in my own bed tonight. <laughs> I hate getting arrested. It happens all the time. Well, bro, I'm sure more people are gonna show up if you don't hurry up and go talk to them. Dude, they found something. Yeah, they definitely found something on the back. 
They're definitely looking at something. I have a game plan. Okay, look. Andrew's got the Jeep over there. Oh. If we're on foot and they see us, then it's going to look like we were the pilots. But if we're in a car, it'll look like we just got here. So let's go in the Jeep and roll up and I see mean, what's I going guess. on. Mm. Yeah. True. Come on. What do you mean? Otherwise, we're, I don't know. We might risk getting in trouble for some Bro, reason. I don't have any idea. I mean, where are they going to, like, we just lied to them. Yo, the helicopter cracked your windshield, dude. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. <laughs> Alright, roll up. We're gonna talk to them. Uh -oh. They see us. Alright, turn left, turn left, turn left. They're coming, the cops are coming. Oh, look at their legs. What's going on, officers? This is in my backyard. Uh, we're gonna need y'all to leave immediately, please. This is the government's problem now. What happened? Right. What, what, what happened with that helicopter? Oh, uh, the case is still open. Just, just carry on, please. We'll inform you if it becomes important at a later date. Well, how long is this going to be in my backyard? As long as it takes, sir. This is a very serious situation. How long have you guys been looking for that helicopter? Sir, we can't answer any questions at the moment. Sorry. Yeah, Carly, just leave before we get in trouble. Could between. you guys please uh, back away from the crime scene? I mean, it's your backyard. Drive. I just got to just move. Just move. Right, I'm right. not getting arrested. All right. Just All right. Thanks, officers. Thanks, officers. Yo, what? Bro, they sound mad. What Dude. the heck? Dude, I didn't think it was that serious. Dude, a helicopter's major. You can't, like, FAA and stuff? Yeah, but this is your property. Why are they telling you you can't be here? I mean, crimes that's can stupid. happen on people's property. It does. That's a thing. Oh, my gosh. I don't, what do we do now? Well, they're still just sitting over there. That's so weird. Why would a helicopter crash in my backyard? Helicopters don't just crash like that. That's so random. And the pilot disappears? Yeah, and there's no pilot. Like, something, I feel like there's something's wrong. And they're like, if you have any idea what the heck is going on, like, please comment down below. Like, I'm so confused. I think we need to just get out of here. Yo. They're leaving. Are they, they're getting back in the car. That's so weird. What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. They might, are they coming after us now? Are they mad that we haven't left yet? I think they're leaving. They're literally driving away. But the helicopter is still here. Okay, go, 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 go. 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 Alright, if we go there though, and they oh, come back. Go, just go, 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 go now, go now, go now. Oh it's in the backyard, we just want to check, we don't have to touch anyone. <laughs> I'm a dirt bike rider now. Woo! Let's go. I just gotta hit that backflip. Gotta. <laughs> He's gonna show me what to do next. Yeah, back. Yeah. I think if I can do that, I'm gonna be hitting a backflip within 24 hours. Woo. I mean, how hard can that be? They're doing it. He's coming. I'm doing a few more practice jumps on the big ramp. I'm trying to get comfortable because the next level is literally the backflip. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> we're running out of daylight, so I'm running out of time of hitting my goal of hitting a backflip today. I think we're gonna put the ramp up against the lake and we're gonna feel it out and see if it makes sense to try to just go for it, lean back, spin around. The ramp is in its final resting spot for the day. All I have to do is hit this thing going way faster than I have driven today. Lean back, watch out for the tree branches. I feel like I might hit some of those. Stay with the bike, flip around, land into the water. Yeah, it looks like Banksy is going in on the BMX bike to give it a try first. He's getting towed in on the pit bike. Here he goes. He's coming in hot. He's coming in really hot. Oh! Run! <laughs> Yo, that was sick. That was really fast. Here they go. Oh! They're coming in hot. Double, double, double. One, two. Now we're taking baby steps with the BMX. Carter. Yeah, I think it's gonna be smart. I only get one shot on the dirt bike most likely. So if I can straight jump this, go a little faster, flip it, and then step up to the dirt bike, I think that's gonna be the best way. Time to get wet. All right, Team Rar, wish me luck. I am very nervous. Hope everything goes well. I'm in good hands. So uh, let's do it. You got it, Here you got go. it. Woo! Oh, there, oh wait. <laughs> I feel 
good about that run? Yeah, <laughs> you felt good? Yeah. I didn't hit the jump. I was able to put the brakes on. I didn't end up in the water. I thought I might have. <laughs> the best takeaway is I felt comfortable at the speed. Just wasn't sure if it was fast enough. I, I can handle the speed, so I'm okay. Take two. Big jump on the BMX bike. Here we go. I felt too comfortable still, but I had to lean back. No, yeah, Second I felt time. good just coming up the ramp. I was like, I might as well just lean. And that's a wrap. Backflip, I did it. No, no, no. You said, you said dirt bike. Backflip on a dirt bike. All right, that's just a bike. No, that doesn't count, man. So what's the plan now? You're gonna try to let go a little bit later, right? My goal really is just to go faster, jump a little higher, more speed, mm. more height. Here we go. Bye, Carter. This is a huge win for me. I landed perfectly. Now all I have to do is do this again, but with a 200 pound dirt bike. Woo. It's got a yeah, there, from like Enzo. There. Personal. So this was the first thing that I saw in a video. I was like, this doesn't make sense. Cause I've never seen a Ferrari with this badge on it. So it might be a limited, super, super limited edition mm -hmm. that you don't know. But then I saw it right here. So on a 308, there's actually a place you put your key, you open this part and the gas cap should be right here, okay. not underneath. Okay. Then you come and look at the engine. Okay. The Ferrari engine, you can see the valves on it, it says the, all the, the Quadro engine. You can see right here, that's where they cut the car and added. It was actually not the best build on it because of what they use right on that corner. They actually the use two by four lumbers. It is a limited edition, but not a limited edition Ferrari, unfortunately. So Sean, you're telling me that this is a fake Ferrari. It is a fake Ferrari. No. Yeah. No! No. Are you sure it's fake? Are you sure it's fake? Like 110%? 110%. I'm not a Ferrari owner. It's a fake Ferrari. The comments are right. Sean, I need you to tell me that on camera that this is real. I'm telling you, I wish I, I could say that. No, Sean, I hope I could to, say you that. You have to say this is real. We can't say that it's fake. I mean, it's too obvious. You can't tell me to say this is real? No, it's not a real Ferrari. <sighs> I can't believe it, Stove. I'm so sorry, man. I'm... Should, I, should I keep filming? Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean... Bro. Dude, 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 dude. dude okay. the haters, dude, literally they're the haters. I know, it's... The haters, bro. bro. Bro, dude, we can cut around I said it. they we, were fake. We can cut around the whole thing of him saying it's fake, right? Just, we just cut that out it. and not even, like, acknowledge it. Yeah, we should just, like, not even... Yeah, yeah, you know what? And, and also, he did say there's only like a limited yeah, number, right. 200 were made, and he says it still looks like a real Ferrari. That's true, he you know? says it looks legit. Alright, so, we'll just cut out all the stuff about exactly. him authenticating it, we'll make it sound like it's real. Exactly, no one needs to see that. Just tell the editors not to use that part We'll cut it all out. Bro, you're a real Ferrari owner! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's right guys, you heard it here at Carolina Exotics, this thing is a faux Ferrari. Mm -hmm. So let's take it back to the house. Okay Steve, so we checked it out, but there's definitely something going on. Oh See, look! Oh my gosh, Carter, that's horrible. That's the attic, that's where fires catch. Remember how you saw that light bulb? Wait, Steven, don't go in there. We need to get out and call the police. We need to get every... Grace is still in the house. Oh my gosh, Grace, get out. Grace. Wait, we need to get her through the window. Let's go. Grace, get out. Just Grace, I think the house is on fire. We gotta get you out. What? Yeah, right now, quick, we gotta get her out. Emergency drill, Steven, help her out. Quick, Grace. This is not good. Hurry, hurry, go. Quick, Grace, hurry. Help me. Hurry, hurry. Fireman's drill. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, hurry. Okay, good. Okay, we need to call the fire department quick. Where? Okay, it looks like it might be slowing down. Maybe we can go in. Oh my goodness, that's up there. That's on the third floor. What room that's is that? The, no, Grace, that's the fifth floor. That's the attic? Yes. Look. Action. Grace, look, it, it, that's so bad. it's really bad. Oh no. What are you doing, Steven? I'm calling. You're calling what? 911? Yeah. Steven, Here. your brand new mansion is literally burning oh, down. Oh my goodness, it's getting dark. Oh my gosh. That means it's getting to the wood. Yeah, it's burning the wood. This is not good. Guys, this is bad. really bad. It's really bad. Shoot. We need to get a fire extinguisher. Grace, where are you going to go? You can't go in the house. Is there one in the garage? I don't know. Okay, go look. At first, I thought it was real and I was panicking, so I jumped out the window. And then after time passed, I remembered that I saw the fog machine that Carter left in the garage.
So I put two to two together and realized it was a okay. As you would imagine, all the neighbors were asleep at 440 and didn't hear or see anything except for one neighbor. He said he actually saw the robbery take place and he agreed to come here to the Timor house to do an exclusive interview as long as we keep his identity private. So I get up pretty early uh, to head into Raleigh for work. Uh, it's around uh, 435, 440 or so. I'm pulling out of uh, our neighborhood and I take a right and I see a car in the middle of the road with no lights on. Uh, and then I uh, see the brake lights start to tap on it like they're hitting the brakes or trying to get it into gear. And then the car takes off pretty slow. It was kind of unusual for me, so I flick my brakes on and I kind of catch up to that car. But as I'm catching up to that car, I notice that there's a truck on the side of the road uh, with a little U-Haul trailer on it. But I continue following this car. Looks like they're trying to find a place to turn around. They're not really driving, but they're sort of just going down the road sort of slow. So I'm right up behind it, and uh, all of a sudden, he slams on the brakes, turns the blinker on like they're going to turn into a, a house, but they don't actually turn. They just kind of stay in the middle of the road waiting for me to go around. But it was very suspicious to me, so I just stayed right there with my bright lights on them uh, and actually picked up my phone and made sure the screen was illuminated so it looked like I was calling or recording them. And then the car starts to pull off into the drive a little bit more and uh, I actually go on around it and then I actually stopped and kind of watched what the car did after I pulled past it and it did a turn in the road and then went back up to where the truck and the U-Haul trailer were off the side of the road. And about what time did you see all that happen? I left my house at probably 4.35 and by the time I pulled on the it was right about 4.40. The police has 23 different suspects of who could have robbed us, so it's just a matter of time before we track them down and find out exactly who it was. They have like crime scene and tape. Oh, dude. What? Let's definitely go inside. Dude, you know, dude, you're gonna Bro, definitely get what? arrested. Dude, I've been in a Lambo, I've been in a fire drop, I've never been in a helicopter. I think it's sick. It is so cool. I mean, it looks like it's still in use. Sick. I don't know if it's safe to fly, probably not. Evidence? Here's the caution tape. I wouldn't cross that line. Carter, yeah, right. Dude, you're gonna get in trouble, don't. Dude, I can't leave a footprint, come on. What if they come back? Dude, They're not gonna come dude, back. Someone, yeah, someone's here, someone's, someone's here. Dude, someone's coming. No one's coming, I can, bro. Dude, yeah. go, we gotta go, we gotta go. go. Dude, it's good, you, dude. Go, 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 go. Dude, I don't know, let's just get out of here. Bailey, I think they might have saw you. Quick reverse now. Okay. Uh-oh. Someone's coming. All right, that was a bad go, go. idea. All right. Get out of here. Let's go quick. Hey, go, go, I think go, go, they go, saw go, you, go, Bailey. Go, 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 go. They're coming. You didn't see me. I don't know. They're chasing us. You can't get the seatbelt on. No. Let's get out of here. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, oh my gosh. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused. I don't understand how something could crash in your backyard. Yeah, we, we, we shouldn't leave the house tonight, I think. Bert, don't slow down. I think they're still coming, Bailey. We gotta go. Yeah, obviously. We gotta get out of here. I hear them. If we go, let's go to the house. Let's just go to the house. Yeah, the house? we can lock the doors. They can't come in. They need a warrant or whatever to come inside the house, right? Well, yeah, I don't know. This is the, the government we're talking about. So? Yeah, government saw us like rules, right? What do you mean? Government has access to your house? <sighs> they well, can do whatever they want. Let's go in and watch the news and just figure out what is going on. I feel like you should not. I told you not to cross that caution line. They could obviously tell. I told you not to run off to the helicopter. All right, you know what? I'm not taking any other blame for you. You literally broke into a crime scene. They told you no, not I to didn't. go in. If you get in trouble, I don't know what to say. You crossed the Bro, line. all my friends. You don't literally crossed the line. I'm not ratting anybody. Just get inside yeah, and don't say a word. We're locking the, we gotta lock the door. This is ridiculous. Wait, you know where y'all are going? I know where I'm going. Dude, secret room? Dude, I'm not going to jail. Okay, that actually might be a good idea. That's actually the perfect spot yeah, to hide from no them. Come on. Carter, come on. Yeah, you got this. Come on. Something you good, bro? Coming quick. You saw something. Wait, can something we shut the door? There. Yeah. Yeah, shut it, shut it. Shut it, shut it. Shut it. Shut it. Shut it. I have literally no idea what is going on, guys. This is so ridiculous. Bailey definitely broke some kind of rule. No, I didn't. You crossed the line and you definitely... Come on, look, I'm not gonna say anything, but like, if you get in trouble, that it might be because of that. We might get in trouble because of the helicopter, probably stolen, crashed in our backyard. People get in trouble for stuff like that. Well, I believe. didn't do anything wrong. I didn't touch the helicopter. People are gonna so. think we stole that helicopter. I don't know, guys. I gotta figure this out, but I. <gasps> Someone just came into the house. Oh, you're just in the video. We didn't turn on the camera. Oh, the camera. The camera's out. inside the house. I just heard the door. Alright, well, I'm going off. Oh. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye
working towards it. Oh, that's good. I enough. got it. If I can feel like comfortable on the pull side of it, then. All right. I'll stand up on the uh, the pegs like you're riding it. Okay. And right. you're gonna try and hit your butt all the way to the rear fender. So it's like a motion like that. Yep. Want to go back further? Like how about this? Keep going. Like that. Keep... Nope. Like you that. won't. You won't because be you'll that. throw your hips into it. Yeah. <laughs> really got it like all of it. Yeah. Let's go. This is it guys. I'm just gonna try it. Just send it. Remember everything that Banksy taught me. Hopefully I go high enough, far enough, and rotate enough around. Hopefully I can successfully land a dirt bike backflip today. It's gonna be insane. The bicycle one was a little bit scary, but this is a lot more scary, a lot more unknown because I've never done it before. Yeah, we got our time to talk. Come Let's on! Go. We gotta go! All right. Yo, he's going under. He's doing the out of the water. So I'm like, get an ambulance. <gasps> oh, no, dude, is he good? Is he good? Oh. good? All right. Yeah, I'm good. I went up the ramp, and just what I didn't want to happen, the carburetor just kind of bogged on me a little bit. So I lost confidence up the face as I was leaning back. So I didn't think I was going to make it around. So I bailed, which is what I was not supposed to do. And then the bike, I think, hit me in the head pretty hard. My heart just stopped right there. All I saw was the bike in the air and that <laughs> Carter car under it. So I was, huh, there's the bike. Where's Carter? Carter. <laughs> there's a dirt bike under the water here. Get the water out of the bike, get it fired up. And it's gonna run. I might get one more shot. And it looks like if I just stayed with it, it would have been successful first try, but I bailed. I jumped off. We did give you a warning. Never let go. Yeah. I did everything wrong. I let go. The bike landed on my head and now it's full of water. If we can't get this thing started, I'm not going to have a second attempt and today will be a huge failure. Banksy kept working on the bike and then a miracle happened. We got it running. Take two. Take two. How are you feeling right now? Nervous. Model, but otherwise, I thought think about it too much and go and just hang into it. I think you, I think, yeah, you got it. You got it. It's running better than the second or first time. <laughs> exactly. Pull, pull, and hold. Pull, pull. Ah, there you go. Hey, hey, you got this. You got this. You got this. The timer's up and I am out of time guys. I attempted two backflips with the dirt bike and both times were terrifying. It's hard to say if today's a success or a fail. I didn't quite land a backflip in the water. Did you hear what we we're gonna do when we found out if it was fake? I heard something about like hanging from the tree or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go put it up in a tree now because the haters are actually right. They weren't even hating, they were just saying what they saw. And Sean was an expert as well, and he was able to tell pretty quickly. It's time to take this thing back. Let's rip on it and go put it up in a tree. Guys, I feel so stupid. All the comments were literally telling me it was fake, and I didn't think so. I thought I had a $100,000 Ferrari, and now it's fake, which means I can't even wear these logos because it's not even a real Ferrari. <sighs> and now I literally have to hang it into a tree, so that means I won't even have a fake Ferrari. I'm gonna have a faux Ferrari treehouse. What is that? One of the rarest American cars is a counterfeit Ferrari 308. Oh, we're back, baby. This article, according to Car and Throttle, has some super interesting news about my fake Ferrari. They referenced the Ferrari as a Pontiac Mira, which is based on the Pontiac Fiera. A company called Corporate Concepts built these fake Ferraris back in the 80s, and they were a blatant ripoff of the Ferrari 308. Naturally, Ferrari didn't take too kindly to this blatant 308 ripoff and sued Corporate Concepts in 1987. By that time, 247 of these fake Ferraris were made, which ironically makes my counterfeit Ferrari one of the most rare American cars ever built, which means I think it has good value. Probably at least $9,000 in value. Well, owning a Ferrari or a fake one for that matter has been an interesting learning curve, but uh, I think it's time to go find a tree. Okay.
broken. Try pushing on it, uh, Jack. Oh! Oh! We got it started! Okay, good work, Jack. Alright, I'm not gonna turn it off from now on in case we can't get it started. <laughs> Calling the cops? Steven, I, if, it's not, if that's the cops, I don't think we should get them involved. Carter forgot that I have 24 hour security that guards the premises at all times, and they notified me that they saw him carrying a fog machine up to his fifth floor bedroom. So when I was over there vacuuming, he didn't think I noticed, but I saw him carrying the fog machine up to his room. Plus, with 23 security cameras just inside my house alone, I was two steps ahead the whole time. Oh. Hey, Lucas and Marcus, how are you? Yeah, what? it looks like Carter's been watching your videos. I'm pretty sure he's pranking me right now with a fog no, machine. No, it's not a fog machine. Your house is on yeah, fire. take a look at this. Oh my gosh. Grace, fire extinguisher, quick. Hey, Wait, we gotta spray that up into the window. Yeah, somehow we have to trace down where that is. Yeah. Steven, look, it's on fire. We need, we should just, okay, maybe we should just go up there and put it out. We have a fire, we can do it without the fire department. Let's just go. I'm just gonna do it myself. It's probably a fog machine. No, it's not. It's, it's like Lucas and Marcus. No, it's not. It's legit. Mom, we're gonna go put it out. Let me see what's going on. Oh my gosh, mom is screaming. See, this is serious. The house is gonna oh gosh, burn. Mom has a sprinkler. It's <laughs> just spraying. What is she doing? It's like I'm gonna get up the stairs. <laughs> mom, what are you doing? The garden hose is not gonna do anything. Well, maybe if we catch it early enough to see if it's burning down, we have to go get save it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Guys, I don't think this is working. Fire extinguisher there. Let's go. Why is your door closed? Probably because it's on fire. Oh my gosh, Steven, it's smoky in here. Hey, you, Carter, what's going on? No, it's Look. catching on fire. Hey, what is this? Uh, it's what? Just as I thought, a fog machine. That's not a fog <laughs> machine. It's hey, you. Oh my god. It's way. F oh, you guys overdid it. Steven, it's on fire. How did the smoke alarm not go off? You filled your room, Carter. This is crazy. Yeah. You play hide and seek in here. This was all a prank? Um, no, it, uh, yeah. Did it fool you guys? <laughs> yeah, it actually looks pretty real. Were you, scared? Were you scared? You climbed out of the window. I jumped out of the window. I'm literally sweaty running up and down that five stories so many times. Oh my gosh. Carter, you're ridiculous. <sighs> so I set out today to prank the entire sheriff fam. So did it work? Did I get you guys? No. no. Oh my gosh. Today was a huge fail. Try to pretend like the house caught on fire. Definitely do not try this at home. I think next time I'm going to have to be a lot more creative and a lot more careful to get all of you guys. Yeah, I'm going to prank you back first. Uh oh. Though. Don't leave your evidence behind. And even baby Otter wasn't fooled, right? Otter, I didn't even prank Otter. Oh my gosh. Okay, well next time I'm gonna have to try a lot harder. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace. Woo!